It's still afternoon, but Yin has already prepared the books needed for his classes tomorrow. He's very excited for the next day because his favorite professor, none other than Professor Jian Jungkook, will be teaching. In order to catch the attention of the professor he admires, Yin strives to be the most outstanding student in his class. He succeeds Yin always scores the highest for courses taught by Jungkook. Her efforts seem to have paid off, as Yin can be considered the favorite student in the class. Special attention is sometimes noticed from Jungkook towards her, and classmates are aware of it, but no one dares to protest because it's a fact that Yin is the most outstanding and disciplined. Alright, all assignments from my beloved professor for tomorrow are done, and I've mastered the material. It's time to shine like usual in front of him tomorrow. She finally climbs onto her bed, lies down, and gazes at the ceiling of her bedroom. Her thoughts start to wander far. Should she confess her love to Jungkook? No. What if he rejects me? Honestly, I'm not ready to be rejected. But how long should it go on like this? I'll graduate soon. Is there any hope for me? Yin exhales a frustrated breath. She truly doesn't know how her feelings journey will end, whether it will end happily or forever buried, becoming just a memory. 15 minutes before class starts, as usual, Yin sits at the front, right in front of the professor's desk. Are you not intending to confess your feelings to the professor? I don't know why I hesitate to express my feelings. I'd be grateful if he could accept my feelings, but if he rejects them, I just want to disappear from the face of the earth. Why is that? When we confess to someone, there are two options, acceptance or rejection. You have to be prepared for the response. That's why I choose not to confess. I prefer to assess the situation first. If I think there's a good chance of being accepted, then I'll confess. But if he shows signs that he doesn't like me, it's better for me to retreat. Don't you realize it? You're treated more especially by him. He's gentler and more tolerant towards you compared to other students in this class, even though he's generally strict. I used to think so, but it seems it's because I excel the most in his course. As far as I know, he likes students who are smart, especially in the subjects he teaches. Are you sure that's the reason? I heard gossip from the class next door. They said Professor Jungkook also has a favorite student in their class. Do you know who? Really? Who? It's Lisa. Lisa? Yes, Lisa. In the other class, she's a standout student, smart and also beautiful. You know that, right? They say Professor Jungkook also treats her more especially than others. So? That means he treats me specially not because he has feelings for me but because he's like that towards all the top students in his class, including me and Lisa, and that means there might be others in other classes who are treated specially by him, the students who are the smartest and most outstanding. But I'm not sure, Yin. I can see from his gaze towards you. It's like the gaze of a man, not a professor. What if you try to get closer to him first and there you can assess how he really sees you? Yin fell silent for a moment, pondering over what her friend just said. Honestly, she was curious about how Jungkook actually perceived her. Was she just a student who was given special treatment, or was there something else? As Yin was lost in her thoughts, not long after, the professor she had been waiting for entered the room. Jian Jungkook walked in with a straight posture and headed straight to the lecturer's desk. In his hand, he held several sheets of paper. All right. Good morning everyone. Here are the results of the quiz you worked on yesterday. I will call you up one by one. Jungkook finally began calling out the names of the students one by one, following the order of the papers he had prepared. Park Yin. Congratulations, you always excel. Your score is perfect, the highest among others. Yin immediately stood up, smiling, and walked towards him to take her quiz results. Well done. Keep up your achievements, Yin. Yes, sir. Yin then returned to her seat while Jungkook began calling out the names of other students to distribute their grades. Okay, you all have received your grades and know your scores. I hope you'll improve your studies so your grades will be even better in the future. Now, let's continue with last week's material. Jungkook then started lecturing on various topics with all the students in the class. Throughout the process, many of them asked questions, making the classroom even more lively. Any more questions? Is anything still unclear? Jungkook then asked a question to all the students in the class and once again, Yin was the first to raise her hand and answer his question. Of course, Yin answered correctly with a clear explanation, earning praise from Jungkook. Well done, Yin. You never disappoint me. Come on. Where are the others? Why is it always Yin who is perfect in answering my questions? Upon hearing praise from Jungkook once again, Yin blushed. Almost every time Jungkook entered the class, there were praises like that directed towards her, which made her heart flutter even more. But she still didn't know what his intentions were in treating her like that. Does he also always praise Lisa like this? For some reason, Yin became curious about Lisa. Without realizing it, she started feeling jealous if Jungkook treated Lisa the same way he treated her. 
four hours had passed and finally, Jungkook's teaching time in the class had ended. The students began to leave the classroom one by one, including Yin. Today, after finishing her classes, Yin had no plans to go anywhere. Her destination was straight to the parking lot to head home. As she walked through the campus, as usual, the eyes of male students didn't stop staring at her, whether from afar or nearby. At first, she felt uncomfortable but over time, she became accustomed to it. Yes, Yin was one of the popular girls on campus. She was beautiful, intelligent, and wealthy. Many male students tried to get close to her and some had even confessed their feelings to her but Yin always turned them down. Not without reason, because in her heart, there was only Jungkook, her beloved professor. How long would she continue rejecting feelings from other men and waiting for Jungkook who was uncertain? That was the question in her mind. As she reached the parking lot, Yin coincidentally bumped into Lisa. It turned out their cars were parked next to each other. Yin glanced at Lisa briefly, their eyes met for a moment, and they both smiled at each other. Even though they were both campus idols, it seemed that their relationship was not problematic. In fact, they weren't friends, but they knew each other well enough because they were both popular. After exchanging smiles, neither of them tried to initiate a conversation. They both got into their cars and drove off, leaving the campus area. Once she arrived home, Yin went straight to her bedroom and lay down on her bed. She stared at the ceiling, contemplating what Yuna had said to her earlier. If I don't try to approach Jungkook, then he will never know my feelings. I also won't know his true feelings and there won't be any progress in this relationship. Alright, it seems like Yin really needs to show some signs of her feelings for him. If not, the situation will remain stagnant like this. Starting tomorrow, I will try to approach him, and I will see how he responds. From there, I will be able to gauge his feelings. If there is hope for me, then I will pursue it, but if not, I will stop. The next morning, Yin, who usually only came down for breakfast, seemed busier in the kitchen today. She wasn't busy preparing food herself, but she was busy supervising the maids preparing the food this time. Yes, this morning she wanted to bring lunch for the professor she admired. She planned to hand over the packed lunch to him in her effort to get closer to her crush. Both of her parents had already left for work for their family company. Right now, Yin sat alone, waiting for the maids to prepare everything she requested. Here you go, miss. The packed lunch you asked for is ready. Here. Yin immediately opened the box and looked at it with a bright smile. She was satisfied with what her maids had done, and was sure that Jungkook would like this lunch menu. She then grabbed the lunchbox and headed out of the house to her car, ready to go to campus. Yin stepped out of her car with her heart pounding, knowing that today she would do something out of the ordinary, she would begin to try to get closer to Jungkook and win his heart. With a different feeling than usual, she started to move forward, entering the campus grounds. This step marked the beginning of her attempt to approach him and discover what could lie between them. Her heart raced faster as she walked through the campus corridors, heading straight for Jungkook's private office on campus. Before she knew it, she stood in front of a door with a name tag that read Prof. Jeon Jungkook. Honestly, her knees began to feel weak. She desperately wanted to knock on the door, but cold sweat started to dampen her hands. She could feel her palms becoming moist, her fingertips turning cold. She was truly nervous this time. Finally, Yin began to knock on the door with trembling hands, feeling anxious as she waited for a response from inside the room. Come in. Her body jerked at the sound of his voice from inside, sounding so chilly. She almost chose to run away from the spot, but if she didn't start at all, there would be no progress. Finally, with nervousness, Yin opened the door and stepped inside, making sure to close it behind her. She stood there for a moment, feeling frozen, as she watched Jungkook, still busy in front of his laptop. With hesitation, she began to approach his desk. I'm sorry sir, are you busy? Jungkook, who had been busy in front of his laptop, finally shifted his gaze towards her, who was still standing in front of his desk. What is it, Yin? His gaze towards her truly made her want to retreat. Her courage dwindled instantly. She had never approached a man before. She was always the one being approached by men. So, approaching a man like this was really not her style. Right now, in front of him, she was truly suppressing her ego, her pride and her embarrassment. Um, actually, her tongue suddenly went dry. What was wrong with her? She was usually so fluent in speaking in class when Jungkook asked her questions. But why did she suddenly seem to transform into someone foolish, stuttering like an idiot? Meanwhile, Jungkook raised an eyebrow, feeling puzzled by the girl in front of him. He continued to gaze straight ahead at her, unknowingly further diminishing her courage. I brought lunch for you sir, please accept this. Yin spoke nervously as she handed over the packed lunch she had prepared for the guy she admired. 
However, her courage diminished further when she noticed that Jungkook hadn't taken the lunch she offered. His eyes continued to stare at her expressionless. I'm sorry. I can't accept it. Why, sir? Because it's not appropriate for a student to give lunch to her professor. Yin immediately withdrew her hand, which was still holding the lunchbox. Finally, she gathered her courage. But I gave it to you inside this room, sir. No one saw it. Only you know about it. I'm sorry, Yin. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, but I want you to understand my position here. Honestly, hearing his rejection like that felt like a slap in the face. She now felt foolish and overly confident that Jungkook would accept the lunch she had prepared. I'm sorry if I bothered you. Well done. I'll excuse myself. Without waiting for a response, Yin turned around and quickly left the room. Meanwhile, Jungkook, who hadn't had a chance to say anything, watched Yin leave his office and could only sigh softly. He then resumed his work. Yin hurried along, not paying attention to the people around her, who looked at her with slight bewilderment due to her hastened pace. Eventually, she reached a relatively secluded corner. Leaning against the wall, she held her chest, which was still pounding rapidly. She tried to regulate her breathing, to steady herself, feeling her eyes start to well up. Not now please, not now. Unfortunately, despite her efforts to hold back the tears, it seemed her tear ducts had a mind of their own as tears began to trickle down her cheeks without permission. I should have been prepared for rejection like this, but facing it head on is still so painful. Should I just give up now, or do I need to try harder? She wasn't sure. At the moment, Yin seemed unable to think clearly. Eventually, she tried to calm herself down and wipe away her tears. Once she felt composed again, she resumed walking towards her classroom. Fortunately, today wasn't the day Jungkook was scheduled to teach her class. If it were, Yin would have preferred to just go home. After enduring what she deemed to be a challenging day, Yin finally found herself able to rest in her bedroom this afternoon. She buried her face on her pillow. The events of this morning still lingered in her mind. She should have been able to relax this evening, but she couldn't stop thinking about it. It seems that the special treatment he's given me all this time is just between a professor and his student. He doesn't have any deeper feelings for me. Today, Yin was unlike her usual self, she lacked the enthusiasm to attend class. The reason was clear, her schedule today included her favorite professor, Jian Jungkook. Despite this, she still sat in her usual spot, at the front near the professor's desk. Yin didn't tell anyone, including Yuna, about Jungkook rejecting her lunchbox. She felt too embarrassed to share it, so she kept it to herself. Finally, the professor everyone was waiting for entered the classroom. As usual, Jian Jungkook walked in with confidence. His gaze swept across the entire classroom, feeling grateful to see Yin in her usual spot at the front. Good morning everyone, let's begin our lesson for today. As usual, Jungkook started lecturing to the students with the prepared material. The cue and the session between the students and the professor eventually began, and as usual, Jungkook tested whether they had understood the material well. However, something was different today. Usually, Yin was active in answering his questions, but today she seemed quiet and kept her head down. Jungkook knew the reason, but he chose not to address it. Before they knew it, the lecture time with Jungkook had come to an end, and all the students, including Yin, started leaving the classroom. Until one day. That morning, Yin wanted to go to the library before her class started because there were some books she needed to borrow. The path to the library passed in front of Jungkook's office, and she accidentally saw Lisa standing there with Jungkook, right in front of his office door. Yin furrowed her eyebrows, genuinely curious about what was happening. The area around was quite quiet because the classrooms were far from this place. It could be said that Jungkook and Lisa were currently standing alone in this area. They certainly didn't know that Yin was also standing not far away, watching them both. Yin couldn't hear exactly what they were talking about, but her eyes widened when she saw Lisa smiling as she took something out of her bag, the lunchbox she had given to Jungkook. What truly shattered her heart was when Jungkook accepted it with a smile. Honestly, her heart was truly broken and in pain witnessing what she saw. Shortly after, Lisa said goodbye to Jungkook and left, while Yin stood frozen nearby. Her heart felt like it had turned to ice, witnessing it all. Jungkook was about to turn around and enter his office when he accidentally caught sight of Yin standing not far from where he was. They both looked surprised and silently stared at each other until Yin averted her gaze first. She immediately continued walking towards the library, leaving Jungkook still standing, watching her from a distance. Yin stood alone in front of the library bookshelf, selecting the books she needed to borrow. Her hand continued to pick and choose, while her mind wandered far and wide. Once again, a few tears escaped her, tracing down her cheeks uncontrollably. Finally, Yin wiped away the tears roughly. Stupid. This time, 
I truly don't care anymore. After Yin obtained the books she needed, she promptly borrowed them from the library attendant and headed straight to her class to attend today's lesson. The next day, after her classes were over, Yin decided to stop by a cafe not far from her campus. She had parked her car and was now inside the cafe, sitting alone after ordering a drink. Shortly after, she noticed Lisa entering the cafe alone and ordering at the counter. Despite herself, Lisa's presence in the cafe caught Yin's attention. Once again, she couldn't shake off the events of yesterday, which had left her heart broken. She watched as Lisa's drink orders were completed. Yin furrowed her brows as she noticed Lisa ordering two drinks and paying for them at the cashier before swiftly leaving the cafe. This time, Yin was truly curious. Without needing to stand up, she glanced outside from her seat, as the view was visible from inside. Once again, her heart felt like it was being squeezed. It turned out that there was a car she recognized outside, Jungkook's car. She saw Lisa getting into the front passenger seat. Shortly after Lisa got in, the car started moving, leaving the place behind. What Yin had hoped would be a moment of solace at the cafe only seemed to deepen her turmoil. Why did love have to be so complicated? Why did she have to fall for Jungkook? These were the thoughts consuming her mind now. If only she didn't love Jungkook, she wouldn't be feeling this broken. The next day. Today was truly frustrating for Yin. How could it not be? It was the day when Jungkook's class was scheduled, and Yin was at the point where she didn't want to see Jungkook anymore. She sat in the back corner of the classroom. After a few minutes of waiting, Jungkook finally entered the classroom and began preparing the material as usual. However, this time, Jungkook could sense a different atmosphere in the class. He scanned the room and eventually noticed Yin sitting with her head down in the back corner. Throughout his lecture, Yin never once lifted her head, as if Jungkook was the most repulsive thing in front of her. His heart began to race. Was it going to be this serious? That was the question on his mind this time. Alright. I will give you a quiz now. Instantly. All the students were surprised. It was typical of Jungkook to do this, giving surprise quizzes was something he often did, which is why he was considered a strict and cold-hearted professor. Yin, hearing this, remained calm as usual because she was confident in her mastery of the material. Shortly after, Jungkook began reading out the questions for everyone to answer on paper. 30 minutes passed and finally, the class ended. The students started to panic because many of them hadn't finished answering the quiz made by Jungkook. All right. Now collect all the answer sheets. The students became even more panicked because they didn't expect this to happen. But then, Park Yin, collect all your classmates' answer sheets, and then deliver them to my office. After saying that, Jungkook left the classroom, leaving Yin stunned. Why do I have to be the one to deliver these answer sheets to his office? Isn't it usually him who brings them himself? What does he want from me? Damn, 